Good morning, guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 25! Christmas Eve everybody today is the last day of vlogmas um, sometimes I vlog Christmas Day but um, I can't guarantee it so let's just say today is the last day and then if I do film tomorrow I obviously you will know and it'll be a surprise but it's 9 45 in the morning so I've had a shower gotten dressed I've packed some more things that I needed. Um, Matt has just left now. Um, he loaded up his motorbike and everything to go down to our hometown. So I am just going to do my makeup. I wasn't going to, but I do feel like wearing some makeup. So I'm just going to do a light, a little light bit. Um, and I'm just uploading yesterday's vlog. I quickly edited it this morning so that I could get it up like before I left um, so yeah that's what's going on I've put all the presents aside that I need to take with me and I just need to load up all Ollie's stuff get him put in his seatbelt and his bed and you know all of that stuff and then yeah I'm so sad to leave Luna but I actually have my friend Georgia coming to feed her and um, see her tomorrow so um, we'll just make sure today she's got a whole heap of food to snack on. She's not the type of cat who just pigs out. She, like, my mum and dad's cat, he will stay there until he's eaten all his food. Luna will just, like, graze on her food. So she should be fine. And then Georgia can come and feed her and give her cuddles and love. Georgia's like me. She's a huge animal lover. She's got a degree in, like, um, animal science or something. So I totally trust her with my with my baby so yeah I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and then I am gonna just get going because I have a long drive ahead of me and I want it to be hopefully over as quick as possible but I'm not gonna speed and drive unsafely that is for sure so guys we are headed off I forgot to quickly film before I left but I've got Mr. Moo in the back in his seatbelt, which I'm glad about. I want him to be safe. Um, it's freaking boiling hot. I've got the aircon full blast and I've got his window down. But holy crap, holy, is it hot. Um, I'm gonna just go through McDonald's and get a cold drink and get a water bottle. So I've got cold water for Ollie because I didn't have any in the fridge and I want him to have cold water if we have to stop or like when we stop because we will stop. Um, because I just don't want him, you know, getting dehydrated in this hot weather. And I do have a rawhide bone to give him in the trip as well to keep him busy to kind of like, you know, break it up. Um, yeah, that's what's happening. Wish me luck on this drive because I'm probably gonna need it. Um, ugh. Hey guys what's up so we have just I don't know why I just said what's up I never say that what? we've just stopped off at a place called Goulburn it's like a really it's kind of a small town um, it's got one of the largest like high security prisons in it which always freaks me out when I'm here but we just put Ollie out he didn't need a wee and he didn't want any water I put it in his bowl didn't want none so he just wanted to be out of the car so I let him stretch his legs and um, I'm such an idiot. I like clipped him out like I've clipped his lead on and I'm like come on Ollie and he's trying to get out But then he kept stopping. I thought his feet were stuck, but they weren't uh, Then I thought he was just being scared. So I um Just need to turn the car on so I can get the aircon going again You know, I was trying to figure out what was wrong and I realized his seatbelt was still like done up. I was like Bree you idiot What can you see? It's really dry here it's like very dry but we've still got another two hours and eight minutes so we better get back on the road keep going hey guys so I made it to my grandparents house um, I'm being quiet because my pop is actually really unwell he's in the next room so I don't want to be too loud and wake him up but we're all just sitting around having a drink and 
kind of just chilling out. Um, but yeah, I feel really bad for my pop. It's the worst time. He's just been in hospital and I didn't even know, but. So, that's all we're doing. We're not really doing much else. Um, I'll show you one of their cats. It's the cutest thing. His name's Gizmo. Yeah. Hey, darling boy. Who let you in? Who let you in? Huh? I'm eating bluebirds. Mm. I've been eating cherries by the punnet. <laughs> Yum. What else did we give Caleb? He liked the train set. He got that big train set one year. Well, that him and Dad played with all that. Yeah. Played. Oh yeah, I remember that. Poppy was on the ground the whole day too. <laughs> you got an Xbox yeah, once. And Poppy lying on the floor building yeah, that train, train set. set. And, and a PlayStation. A and a bass guitar. guitar. Hey Tess. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Hello darling. Hello. Oh, there's my silly dog. See how beautiful my grandma's garden is? They have a really big like farm, so there is a lot to see, huh Mickey? There's a pond. There's like a little waterfall up the back. Up there is where my mum and dad got married. Just up there. And I think that was 21 years ago. We have no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. What is you doing, Watson? What are you doing? Hi. Hi. What are you watching? Hmm? You two kissing? <laughs> Tess's tongue was drippy with water so Ollie went to lick it. <laughs> hey guys, so it is now... 20 to 10 at night. Um, everyone's gone to bed. We've all had a pretty big day. I'm definitely tired from the drive. And yeah, Ollie has been running around all afternoon with Mickey and Tess. Tess is my grandparents' dog, the blue, blue cattle dog, which you would have seen. Um, and Mickey is my mum and dad's dog. So he is zonked out as well. And I'm letting him on the bed just because it's Christmas. So this is the room that I am staying in. Pretty sure this was my auntie's room when she was growing up. So yeah, I can't believe that it's Christmas Eve and Christmas Eve's over pretty much. And that tomorrow's Christmas. It has definitely come around so fast. I cannot believe it, but thank you guys again so much for watching me complain about things, for watching, you know, all of the shambles that is my life. I definitely appreciate it so much, but. So I probably won't end up vlogging tomorrow just because I I won't know half of the people here and I don't really wanna vlog when I don't know people, if you know what I mean. I will sign off here. Um, I hope you guys all have an amazing Christmas or have had if it's already over. Um, and yeah, thank you for all your support. I just, I honestly appreciate it so much. So yeah, Merry Christmas guys. And I will talk to you in my next video.